Welcome to Fibbage, home of the Triple Dipple Whammy Burger. May I take your order? Three players. I promise this will be more fun than playing three separate games of solitaire. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's play. This is round one, and that means you get 500 for each player you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Time to pick a category. And time's up. First up, comedian Jamie Loftus took on an odd project. For over a year, she's been slowly eating blank. Now, on your device, type out a good lie that you think other players might believe is true. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it now. Right, now find the truth and select it on your device. Let's see how things shook out. You guys blew it. I only ate the first couple chapters, but I tell everyone I ate the whole thing. Okay, pick a category. Okay, here's your question. In 2001, Padres pitcher Adam Eaton took a knife to the gut when he tried to blank. Okay, enter your lies. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right, let's see what you guys picked. He stabbed himself by accident, just in case you thought it was a crazed laser disc fan. Give me a category. All right, here it is. William Patrick Stewart Houston was awarded a Purple Heart during World War II, which is incredible considering he was blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? All right, who picked what? <laughs> Nobody thought of this. He changed his last name for some reason. On 
to round two where all point values are doubled. All right, choose a category. And the question is, in December 2016, a man tried unsuccessfully to rob a store in San Bernardino, California. Employees drove him off by throwing blank at him. All right, type in your lies. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. I love this part. Yes, it was a sex shop. Good thing they were out of whips. Hey, let me show you something. It's time to look at this. This 1877 drawing was filed by Nanette S. Emerson French for the patented invention, the blank mask. Write your lies now. Okay, which one is the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Sweet dreams. Select the category. Try this one. Here's a cautionary tale. Police arrested a man for sending journalist Kurt Eichenwald a dangerous blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. All right, let's see what everybody picked. The tweet had a strobing effect purposely designed to cause seizures. This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. In November 2016, an Ohio woman who placed an ad on Backpage.com was busted for offering sex in exchange for blank and blank. Type in your lies now. Where's the truth? Well, 
Let's see what everybody selected. Hey, you know what, Ohio? There's nothing wrong with knowing what you want. player game doesn't quite work. What we need right now is a miracle. Hello. Oh, but hey, look. My friend Gene is online. This guy's a real cut-up. You're gonna love him. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. All right, let's launch this sucker. Hi, I'm Todd. You know, the internet may just be a bunch of ones and zeros, but you're more than just a number to me. Here's a quick tutorial before we start. Hey guys, what's up? It's Partyboy7, here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a... Social media site. So, you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Here goes nothing. Who looks the most ridiculous here? 
place your vote now. Let's see who got the points. Here's who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Great. Now let's go to a social networking site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Okay, here's what you're working with. Do your worst. You'd think I'd learn my lesson, but yet, here we are again. Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. And here are the results. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. Let's keep this party train moving. Go to a news site. Check out this new prompt. Or don't, I'm not your dad. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist.
here we go again. civic duty and vote now. Let's see how everybody voted. Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? We only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so literally anything can happen. Here is your last prompt. Okay, it's the last round. Go for the nuclear option if you have to. comes down to this. Okay, time to vote. Let's see who got the votes. Good grief. comes down to this. Well done. This has to be one of your all-time highlights.
Alright, a gang of four. Please tell me you're not another group of hackers. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Let's embark on a journey we'll never forget. Welcome to the internet. I'm Todd, but you might know me by my hip-hop name, Lil Stinker. In case you need some instructions, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. Yeah, let's stop wasting time on the internet. Let's start things off at a... e-commerce site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now. Vote for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. Here's what people think. This is who burned you. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Awkward. <laughs> Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a uh, check in site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful.
Is anyone else's heart racing right now? As P. Diddy would say, vote or die. Okay, here are the verdicts. I hope somebody got a screen grab of this. <laughs> Okay, let's see what that round does. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, web forum. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please get to it. drill. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Go ahead and vote. I'll give you a sticker afterwards. Let's see who got the points. You dolt. <laughs> Let's check the scoreboard. And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. Okay, it's the bottom of the ninth. Time to hit a slam dunk.
Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Let's see how everybody voted. You got spanked. <laughs> Buddy, it all comes down to this. Hey, you know, that's real. I'm really, I think you really did something today here. Nice. Three, two, one. Let's start things off at a crowdfunding site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. It's the moment of truth. Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Vote now. Let's see who got the votes.
Pierce who twisted your words. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. I hope you're not a vegan because you got egg all over your face. Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Great. Now let's go to a uh, video site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Ready or not, here we go. Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Here's what people think. Oh dear. <laughs> How will that shuffle the leaderboard? Let's find out. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a job networking site. It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Alright, let's do the twist.
Okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Let's get those boats in. And here are the results. Woof, I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> Scoreboard time. Let's end things at a photo sharing site. Give this one your all because points are worth double in this round. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. Our journey has led us to this moment. Voting time. Okay, here are the verdicts. I hope your parents aren't watching. It all comes down to this. You might have ruined some relationships along the way, but you did it. Congrats.
Welcome to Monster Seeking Monster. I'm your host. My name cannot be properly spoken with the mortal tongue, but you can call me Felicia. I'll be hosting six nights of macabre meetups, where you'll try to convince other players to go out with you by sending them secret messages. Each night, you'll chat with other players before locking in the one person you want to date that night. If that person picks you back, you go on it. I guess you already know how this works, so let's go. Let's start by chatting with other players and trying to set up dates. You can only send four messages each night, so use them wisely. mentioned that some of your conversations will appear on screen during the dates. Oh well, I'm sure it won't be incriminating. On your device, pick the one person you hope you're going on a date with tonight. This is like some wonderful nightmare. Okay, let's see who tricked who. I mean, who picked who. And if you don't get a date, don't worry. This is just the first night. Someone's lining up hoping to be next. Let's see. Ooh, that's not good news for you, sorry. What an exciting first night. It would be weird to have a scoreboard at a dating event, but we do have a scoreboard at this dating event. It looks like you're doing the best, and you're doing the opposite of the best. A quick word of warning. Whoever is in the top spot at the end of the second night of dates will have their monster power revealed. And every night after that, we'll do the same for the highest ranking unrevealed monster. Now that we know how this works, let's just jump into sending out those messages. Hey, 
Hey, if you need to block another player, when you hit the info button on their chat screen, there's a block button in there, and then you won't see their messages. Twenty seconds and counting. Oh, sorry, time's up. All right, it's time to pick dates again. Okay, let's see them. Looks like someone else wanted in on that action and failed. Let's see what's what now. Definitely saw some movement in there. Don't forget, at the end of each night from now on, the highest ranking secret monster will have their identity revealed. You're in the top spot. Let's see what kind of monster you are. Monster Hunter! At the end of the game, the Monster Hunter gets a bonus heart for every time they date the monster type they've secretly been told to hunt. You can read that again whenever you want on your device by hitting the info button on their chat screen. The same goes for any monster after they're revealed. Night three. Oh, by the way, there's a full moon out tonight in case that affects your monster power. Get to messaging. Oh, a quick word of advice. If one of the other players isn't getting much attention, they might be more receptive to date offers. Only 20 seconds left. Once again, it's time to pick your date. If my heart could still beat, it would be skipping a few right now. those dates. Stay right there. There's more. Oh, no. 
Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Power moves. You're the highest unrevealed player, so let's see it. Mother! The mother receives a bonus heart every night their child does not get a date. Good luck, mommy. Message time. Any more seconds? All right, it's time to pick dates again. The excitement is almost bringing me back to life. Time to see the dates. Looks like someone was hoping this date wouldn't work out. Let's see if any of that changed the social pecking order. Oh, fun! Things are happening! Time to see your monster power! Vampire! Everyone the vampire dates becomes a vampire, and then so do the people they date. At the end, this vampire receives half a bonus heart for every vampire in the game. Night five. Uh-oh, full moon tonight. Get to messaging.
the 22nd warning. Once again, it's time to pick your date. I'm keeping my mandible cross for everyone to do well. It's date time. Stick around, there's another one for you. Let's see if that changed any of the standings. Ooh, things are moving. Let's see what you are. Werewolf! On a full moon, werewolves get a bonus heart for dating and then turn their dates into a werewolf. But if a werewolf is rejected on a full moon, they lose half a heart. It's our last night together. Make it count. You get two hearts for dating now because it's such a special night. And that full moon should make things extra memorable. Last night. Yes, it's true. It's Message time. Werewolf dated on a full moon. Let's see the almost final standings. 
One last thing, it's time for the after party. Time to reveal any remaining hidden monster powers. Time for another reveal. Leprechaun! Everyone who dates an unrevealed leprechaun gets two fake hearts. When the leprechaun is revealed, that's right now, all the fake hearts disappear. At this moment, leprechauns get one bonus heart for every player that drops in the rankings. <laughs> One player dropped in the rankings. Time to tally up any after-party bonus hearts. Let's see if anybody became a werewolf. That reveal was just for fun. Who was the monster hunter hunting this whole time? The werewolf, who they dated three times. Let's see how many of you were turned into vampires. You collected the whole set. How does that affect the final standings? We've got big fun waiting to be unleashed. We'll be posing some of life's most important questions. Your answers will be paired off in a no-holds-barred tournament. And your votes will determine which answers advance in the bracket. As we whittle down to our championship winner, this is Bracketeering! I'm sending the topic of our first bracket to your devices now. The trickiest hiding place in a game of hide-and-seek. Ali Ali Oxen Free. Type in the best answer you can think of and hit send. If your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. Time's running out. <laughs> Your answers are being paired off into one-on-one -on -one matchups. That means it's time to introduce ourselves to the prediction table. On your device, you'll see one of the upcoming matchups for this bracket. If you can predict the answer that will get the most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. Time's running out. That's time at the prediction table. Let's dive into our first bracket. Bitter rivals collide. Use your device to vote on which you think deserves to win. 
But don't forget, if you change your mind, you can change your vote. A regular juggernaut. And that answer pays out 20 prediction winners. Our next matchup. To talk about a rivalry, these two competitors have been at each other's necks all week. You will not be denied. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Omega Conference. This is a big one. Clear winner there. And now our last two contenders face off. That victory will not require a recount, but I'm not allowed to talk about politics. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Hey, you got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is gonna win. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Both of these answers are coming into this matchup with a lot of momentum. Ouchie, it's a tie. Show your support for your answer by tapping on your device as fast as you can. The tie has been broken. I'm going to miss the tie times. Our winner moves on to the final, but let's find out what they'll face off against. These two answers really breeze through the first round. Let's see what happens when they collide. It's a nail biter! The human heart is a fickle beast! And now the final face off! What is the trickiest hiding place in a cutthroat game of hide and seek? Skills are beginning to tip. We have our first winner. Wow, what a bracket. Let's see how the score shook out. It's time for the blind bracket. We start with just a category. Name any video game character. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after the answers are all in. Let's see what this bracket is really about. Which video game character most deserves a vacation? This whole line of thinking really speaks to me. Time to get in those predictions. Yeah. 
The predictions are in. Time to get it on. Oh, it doesn't get more contentious than this. Decisive victory. Next up. Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Conference. There is no love lost between these two. No contest! Time to round out the bracket with this vicious matchup. One answer is showing some promise. That's how the mayonnaise gets made. Looks like everyone got this one wrong. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. A clear front runner. should really book their flights right now! This could be the answer to beat, but let's check out the competition. Dominating win! And now we finally decide which is the video game character that most absolutely deserves a vacation. We have a winner! Let's take another peek at the scoreboard. And now for the bracket you've all been waiting for, the triple blind bracket. This bracket will change every single round. Here's your starting category. Name any specific aquatic animal. Who knows what crazy twists and turns this bracket will take? Let's see what we're dealing with. Who is Ocean Buddy for Aquaman to summon? Time to get in those predictions. All cash is doubled this round, so make these choices count. The predictions are in. Starting things off.
It's weird that this is my job. That was ugly. Moving on to our next matchup. I can't believe I'm seeing this. Some heads were spinning on that one. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. Could this be a blowout? Bibbity bobbity bam! An easy bet that pays off! Now, our last two contenders face off! The struggle is real! Just running out the cl- There's a hole in the bucket, dear Martha! Let's switch up this bracket. Most likely to save you if you were drowning. Get those predictions in now. The predictions are in. Let's jump back to our bracket for round two. Voters are being loud and clear on this one. It's really going... Moving into overtime. Tap on your device as fast as you can to cheer for your answer. The tie is broken. Finally, we can go on with our lives. One more match to determine our finals. These two answers dominated the first round, but what happens when they meet each other? Big win, Daddy likes. One final switcheroo. Aquatic animal that would look the best dressed up as a sexy bumblebee for Halloween. I hope your answers still make sense. And now the definitive matchup. A real tug of war. We have a winner! But who walked away with the top score?
Welcome to Doodle Valley. We were gonna have the high school band here for this occasion, but Parker Williams got his head stuck in the sousaphone again. Thank you all for volunteering or reluctantly agreeing to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, there's still time to join the audience and help the cause. The mayor wants to turn all the drab white walls in the town into colorful community art projects. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Francis. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this mural is already in progress. We invited that famous painting monkey to draw something here, but just between you and me, I think he really phoned it in. What is that, a squi squiggle? I don't mean, they didn't even finish it. We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers, ready, still ready, and ready. I mean, go. While our doodlers doodle, the rest of you can react to each drawing with the buttons on your device. I like the vegetable one. Time's running out. Hurry up and finish. I may not know art, but I know what I like. And I like both of these. Sadly, only one can win. Come on, vote, why don't ya? Let's see how that shook out. The polls are closed. Not so fast, Delilah. Each match, I'll be picking an emoticon that tickles my fancy and giving out a bonus to the drawing that got the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most purple bananas, or whatever those are. The people have spoken. Okay, let's see what you two can do. Time to vote. Rack up those votes. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most hearts. Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Go.
It's voting time. Moment of truth. Up next, go. Okay, count them up. Next up, go. Voting time. Here we go. Don't add another brush stroke. It's perfect. Now it just needs a title. Type one in using your devices. your favorite and vote. Now, now, Thelma Lou, as mayor, I get to break all the ties. How about I pick this one? The hard work's done. Let's step back and admire our work. Well, that's something you can't unsee. Oh, ah. Where's the next stop on our beautification tour? Right, no wait, right here. I've got a good feeling about this one. Go. Running out, finish up quick. Boat away. I love this part. Next up, 
go. Let's count those votes. Up next... Go! away. Next on deck, go! Time to vote! Rack up those votes! Next on deck... It's voting time. Moment of truth. This piece is just screaming for a good title. Let's give it one. Now vote for your favorite. Funny, right? The choices we make. I couldn't have done better myself. Ooh. 
What's next on the agenda, sir? Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Geraldine. That's not... <sighs> Fine. What is it? Your art has moved me to commission you to do a portrait. One that'll hang in the town hall. <laughs> Everybody brace yourselves, because you're all drawing at once this time. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. There you go, a fine subject for a portrait. I have no idea who that is. Oh, you remember them. They work at the water treatment place, and uh, they kind of smell like eggs and hay. They kind of walked around. He gets like this sometimes. Let's just start by drawing some eyes. What Doesn't matter what really they, they look like. Hey, how you doing? I got me some new parachutes. It's about 23 degrees outside and it's good to hear So many good choices here. Let's vote on whose is best. Next, let's all do the nose. Okay, vote. And now the mouth. And vote. Finally, finish this off in any way you want. I trust you all implicitly. Last vote, make it count. Okay, time.
time to take it all in. It's like looking in a mirror of that person. You're all winners in my heart, but the votes tell a different story. Civic Doodle, Civic Doodle, just find a blank wall cause we're gonna have a ball once you start to play this game. Alright, a gang of four. Please tell me you're not another group of hackers. Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. Alright, prepare for liftoff. Hey there, I'm Todd. If you ever go to my parents' house, their Wi-Fi password is HNB2837FCYH33. Before we begin, check out this quick tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So yeah, let's stop wasting time on the internet. Let's start things off at a social media site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Do you regret your decisions? It's too late now.
Which of these made you laugh the hardest? Vote now. Here's what people think. Here's who burned Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oof. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a social networking site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. this inspires you, take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. feeling about this. you think looks the most absurd. Let's see how everybody voted. This fundamentally changes the way I think of you as a person. Okay, let's see what that round does. Let's switch things up and go to a uh, news site. It's time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your heart this time. Let's do the twist.
Let's see how this pans out. Let's get those boats in. And here are the results. Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? Let's end things at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so anything can happen. Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. Okay, it's the bottom of the ninth. Time to hit a slam dunk. Oh boy, I can hardly contain my excitement. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Let's see who got the points. I hope you weren't going to run for political office. <laughs> It all comes down to this. Well done. This has to be one of your all-time highlights. Three, two, one. Let's start things off at a e-commerce site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly.
you're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. It's the moment of truth. looks the most ridiculous here? Place your vote now. Okay, here are the verdicts. This is who burned you. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oof, I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Great. Now let's go to a uh, check in site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. Okay, here's what you're working with. Do your worst. Ready or not, here we go. As P. Diddy would say, vote or die. Let's see who got the votes. Good gravy. <laughs> Oh. 
Let's see what that round did to things. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to a web forum. Another prompt is headed your way. Now get to it. Go again. and vote. I'll give you a sticker afterwards. Let's see how everybody voted. foolish. It's time for the scoreboard. And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. Here is your last prompt. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Our journey has led us to this moment. to vote.
Let's see who got the points. This does not make you look good. Whoa, buddy. It all comes down to this. Wow, you really did something there. seem familiar. Oh hey, didn't we meet in that chat room about ferret breeding? There's actually enough room on the internet for everybody, so feel free to join the audience and vote along. Alright, let's launch this sucker. Hi, I'm Todd. Welcome to the internet. This place is huge. Did you know it has over 1,000 sites? Gotcha. Let's get right to it. Let's start things off at a crowdfunding site. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Here goes nothing.
vote for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. And here are the results. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oh dear. Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a uh, video site. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. You'd think I'd learned my lesson, but yet, here we are again. Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. Okay, here are the verdicts. Wowza. How will that shuffle the leaderboard? Let's find out. Let's keep this party train moving and go to a job networking site. Check out this new prompt. Or don't, I'm not your dad. Come on, baby. 
Let's do the twist. Let's see what you rascals came up with. Do your civic duty and vote now. Here's what people think. Scoreboard time. We only have time for one more, so let's end it at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. The last round, so don't hold anything back. Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. Voting time. Let's see who got the points. Well, that's something you can't unsee. <laughs> Drum roll, please.
and grants. Let this moment really sink in. 